Hey everyone, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we got a cool gig. A friend texted me and uh, I'm gonna go play some upright bass for a recording project he's doing. So uh, it's about time to head out, so I'll see you there. All right guys, so before we head out, I'm just gonna show you all the gear that I'm bringing today. Got the coat hanger, of course. I uh, got my upright bass all the way up to the front seat. I like to just bring a towel. Got my electric tuner, which will come in handy. Uh, obviously, patch cable. And then uh, for my amp, I'm bringing my Ampeg 80 watt 110 amplifier. This thing is great, super lightweight, and it um, it's probably going to be plenty loud for whatever we're doing today. And obviously, uh, power for that amp. So it's about time to head out, so I'll see you guys there. So we're just getting set up. It looks like we're going to be recording music and then a video for that music. So stay tuned. All right, so we made it to Keith's house. Awesome, very cultured. Jeremy over there is tuning up. Cool painting on the wall. Anna about to play some saxophone for us, and Keith's in the other room. And he was showing us this super cool uh, Life magazine from uh, 1941, so a very nice uh, slice of history. And the cool thing about Jeremy and Keith is that they're actually uh, swing dancers themselves, so they were telling us about uh, this guy right here. I can't remember his name. Frankie Manning. Frankie Manning? Yep. Just throwing <laughs> girls around. Like, look at that. Very cool. It's a very cool magazine. And I think all the recording equipment's about ready, so we're gonna start playing here in a minute. Yeah. So once we had the whole band set up, we decided to play a quick tune. And so this is us playing Sunny Moon for two. And unfortunately, you can't see uh, Anna behind the wall there, but she's uh, playing alto sax. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Pull it back so that uh, 
Jared's brother can get can get that sick footy. So this is what the job actually ended up being, just uh, recording a backing track for a female vocalist for a really old tune called Come On Over Baby. And yeah, you're just seeing it, nothing too crazy. And we've got the uh, guy on the camera over there just sort of getting some uh, video footage that I think they're going to add in later. So. took about two and a half hours to do the whole uh, process of getting over there and I think we got some uh, some good footage so hopefully uh, Jeremy can use that to promote his uh, swing dance event that's what it turned out to be for uh, playing with swing dancers is so cool because you they really they really like feel they internalize the rhythm you know and like if they've really studied swing dancing and they realize that their body is an instrument and that it can be practiced just like you can practice an instrument it's really interesting. I've never been around swing dancers before, and uh, I think, I don't know, I'm probably going to try it for myself to see what it's all about because it looks really fun, and uh, they seem to love it. It's cool, too. That guy had a lot of cool memorabilia and, like, uh, you know, different paintings and art, like, you know, uh, stuff about dancing. So, uh, overall, I would say it's really good. Didn't even have to use my amp, uh, so, but always good to bring it just in case because you never know uh, what's going to be required. So, uh, yeah, until next time, uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys later.